got this battery powered portable shower on sale. It is good for camping, pet showering, as well as gardening in my case. Let's open it now. There are warranty information and manual. A closer look at the manual gave all the parts name of the product. On the back, some information on how to use and clean, which I will demonstrate in a few minutes. There are four main components, shower head, motor, hose and a hook. At the motor's bottom, you will find this handle, which by turning it counterclockwise, you can easily open it and find the charging port. You can use the cable, which come with it. It requires a USB charging port at one end and this round part at the other. Put back the charging port cover next to it. The other side, take off the plastic cap. This is the on and off switch for the motor. After power on, it would make some noise. Not too loud. Push the button again, would turn it off. Now to use this, you will need to connect to the hose to the motor. Find the hose, that end look like this. Push it into the end of the motor, then locate the end cap and screw it tight. So motor is now connected to the hose. Find this rubber ring, which comes in the package. Put it on the other end of the hose, then connect this end to the shower head. Screw it in, make it tight. Hook is easy to assemble. Just insert it like this. The shower head will be held on the hook by those screws, which will keep it in place like this. Hence, the shower head will not move once inserted. You can use the hook for suction depending on your situation. While using the suction cap, be sure the surface is smooth, otherwise it will not stay on. You can use the hook to put on a tree while camping or a shelf at home. While plugging in and charging the motor, it will light up in red indicating it is charging. To disassemble and clean it, follow those steps. Spin off the shower head, take out the rubber ring, then take out the adapter. Spin off the motor. Open the motor end cap like this. It is pretty easy to snap it off. The black piece is the filter. Clean the filter as necessary. For my use case, this thing would help me to water my plants. Instead of using this pile of heavy hose, I can just use this portable one, which is much easier. For a quick demo, put some water in the bucket, make sure it is deep enough to cover the bottom of the motor. Power on the motor. The result is quite good. As you can see, it does have a couple streams coming out in the wrong direction. And after trying to turn the cover to fix it, still no luck. But for the price, it is okay. No issue watering the plants. Lastly, after each use, make sure to disassemble it and drain each part to ensure maximum use of its life. Alright, that's it. See you next time.